Hello guys and girls and welcome back to another video and hopefully you guys are on a fantastic day and we'll be checking out one of the PlayStation Plus free games of the month in today's video. So as you can see on the screen here we do have six different titles which can be downloaded all for free um, of the month of April. We have Never Alone, Tower of Guns, A Ruse Awakening, Monster Bag, Killzone Mercenary and Dishonored. So uh, six different titles, I mean they're not, some people have complained about them, some people are happy with a couple of them. For me I, I would say Killzone Mercenary is definitely the highlight of this month's free games but then again I haven't played any of the other five so I can't really comment on those. Never Alone does look quite interesting, it's a PS4 exclusive download here. Uh, a Ruse Awakening can be downloaded on the PS3 such as Tower of Guns. Then you have Dishonored which is, it's a pretty big game, I mean a lot of people loved it. I never actually played it for myself but it did look pretty interesting, slightly like, um, there was a game which was similar to this, I can't remember what it was called now, it actually came out on the PS3 not too long ago. Do you know what guys, it's just slipped my mind so never mind. But uh, yeah, today we'll be checking out Aru's Awakening. I thought I'd go with this one because it was like the most unknown one. It's an indie game for the PS3 and the PS4. I'm not really sure what other consoles you can get it on. But it looked pretty interesting. Now, I played a little bit of it, so I kind of have a, like an idea of what to expect. But this game is actually pretty tricky. So we'll start things off with the first level here, which I've gone through a couple of times now. So I'm, I'm familiar with this, guys. Now, within these levels, you need to get through them as quickly as possible if you want to gain a high score. So it can be controlled with the, the left analog stick or the, the D-pad. I pr probably prefer the left analog stick because when it comes to platformers, I'm kind of like, I know old school days it was all done with the D-pad. I'm kind of like grown out of that. And uh, I, I do all things with the analog now, unless they're fighting games, of course, then I'm, it's always D-pad with me. But yeah, it's, a, it's like an, the visuals here are like very artsy as they're like hand drawn. I think they are actually hand drawn. And there's a 2D platformer, and as you can see, that is the first level over and done with. So very simple, but obviously it's just like introducing you into the game. The high score there, or for the gold, you need to get 22 seconds. We did it in 28, so it's only a bronze, but I'm not really too bothered about scores here. Honestly, I'm probably not going to beat this game. I'm just going to like play through it, give you guys an idea of what to expect here, and give myself an idea of what to expect. So we'll move on to the second level, and that, that actually seemed very simplistic. There's actually a lot more to this game, which is pretty cool. Because if, if that was all, then this game would probably... Not do well, but then again, I'm not really sure if this game is going to do well as it is now. I guess I have to find out a bit more for myself. But you can charge for these jumps here. It's L1 to jump, by the way. Very weird button to use for the jump, but uh, it works. You can charge to maneuver in air. Charge also breaks certain walls. So we'll quickly try this for ourselves now. Alright, so do we hold it or just tap it? I think we hold it. Tapping it. Okay, you get the same elevation if you just tap it as well. And by doing that, you can actually charge through walls. Not all walls. They'll be like highlighted like you can see here. It's got like a little yellow glow around it. So it works pretty well. I'm not sure if there's going to be like hidden, so, uh, hidden items like collectibles and stuff. I would have to keep an eye out for anything. But you do have these little orbs here which are used as checkpoints. Now this is kind of why I had to like dive into this game a little bit for myself before. Because it will take like a few minutes to get used to. It's not complicated but a few things you'll see here which you won't really see as a common thing as a common theme in other games but it's a pretty cool thing if you like if you like these kind of 2d platformers where it's a race against time and this is a pretty cool game oh god wait are we safe we good oh god we just gotta keep dodging oh my god we have to keep dodging that and just kind of like bide our time there i'm not really sure what we had to do there was literally no escape whatsoever we'll, we'll just see what happens so we'll just run to this side see what happens you can also shoot as well there's apparently supposed to be enemies in this game oh yes Oh wait, wait, let's get out of here, let's get out of here, just in case it drops again. And there we go, it's another level done. So we're not going to go for too long in this in this video, guys. For his master's okay. Arrival with great anticipation. Surprisingly, Don appeared in his full form. His presence was captivating. Don addressed his faithful servant. His tone was anxious, lacking its usual calm and serenity. A dark menace unlike anything this world has ever seen is approaching fast from the domain of night. I am unable to reach it, so your time has come. Alright guys, I'm probably you sure you're not very interested in brethren, what's being said right now. As this is kind of like a little into the game, so it probably is making no sense to you as well. But, this game is not really for the story. You play as a character called Aru, it's called Aru's Awakening. And the characters actually look super weird. If you saw him there, he kind of looks like a giant turkey. But uh, if we can skip this, I will. We'll probably dive into one more level and then wrap things up. Yes, we can skip it. Thank goodness. Alright, so that's I've covered like three levels now since I've started playing. But the menu here is so weird. I literally have no idea of where I'm going. 
I keep like jumping back into the same the same levels over and over again. But we'll go with relocator. Charge and try. We just did charge and try. The initial clumsy sets, we've done that one also. So I guess the next one's gonna be relocator. I assume. I maybe actually did this one. But it sounds new, it sounds fresh, and we'll go with this. Now Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, my bad. At least it was the start. You you can see this like little thing I'm just uh scoping around here on on the screen. It's like a little kinda of looks like something from Space Invaders. That's actually your like reticle kind of thing. Uh, I'll show you guys in a moment. It works very weird. Okay, let's try and get to safety. We should not be down here. Alright, we need to charge through this wall here. Oh yes, we just made it. Yeah, I have done this level. I'm not really sure how you unlock new levels. But uh, we're going to try this one out once again because there's a few new things here which I'm going to show you now. So press R1 to shoot out an orb in the direction of the right stick. Uh, R2 to teleport. So once you shoot that orb, you can actually teleport to where the orb has landed. So that's really cool. I think you can shoot multiple orbs. Or you can, but not at this stage. By holding it down, you can kind of like slow slow down the shot. It's kind of cool. But yeah, once you shoot, you can kind of like teleport to that spot. So it's really nice. And some of these levels actually can become very fast paced, so use this to your advantage, it can make some of these in these levels very interesting. Now I'm just going by a trailer I saw, but I mean the further you get in, then the more interesting this game is going to become. Obviously so far, very slow paced and kind of simplistic, but I mean it does have its challenges. So if you're into these kind of games, then it's worth a download. I mean it's free, so you're not paying anything, it's a free experience. And you may as well give it a shot. Okay, we're having a little bit of trouble here. I think we just made it. Yes, we did. We're going to go around this path because I thought it was the easiest path the first time around. But yeah, as I said, the highlight of this month's PlayStation Plus, I'm not really a fan of anything other than the kills and mercenary. I have to try out the rest of myself. I'm thinking about trying Dishonored. Then again, I've kind of got my hands full with a bunch of other games. So I don't really want to get drawn into anything. But that's probably going to be the big one along with kills and mercenary. And this was the end of the level. This is this bit which actually confused me. I'm not really sure what we had to do with this fox, but we kind of like transformed into him. We're kind of with the turkey guy at the moment. This is the fox guy. And then once I got to this point in the game, I just like had no idea what to do. It kind of just like froze from there, and uh, the level ended. But yeah, that's gonna be all for now, guys. So if you did enjoy uh, this little experience we had with Aru's Awakening, not the most interesting game, but I guess it's something to pass the time by. Probably more suited for the PlayStation Vita. I mean, playing this on the PS4, I mean, it does look beautiful. I love the hand-drawn the hand drawn visuals here, but it just feels like it's more of a portable game. And yeah, Killzone Mercenary is definitely the one for me. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of shooters on portable consoles, but it works so well, especially with the two analog sticks, and that's definitely the one to download, guys. So this is going to be all for now. Hopefully you did enjoy. Please be sure to give a thumbs up. It really does help, guys, and I hope to see you all in the next video. See ya.